Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and what I would like to do today is explain to you how you can access site usage reports for your SharePoint sites. Uh, there are actually a number of ways to do it, uh, and both kind of classic uh, SharePoint experience as well as modern. Um, I do have a detailed uh, blog post that I have written. Uh, you will find it in the description of this video. There, there will be a link. Uh, and uh, but for the purpose of this video, um, I will only focus on the modern techniques and modern ways of, uh, you know, running and accessing those site usage reports. Now I'll just mention this very briefly uh, with the old SharePoint, if you will, with the old and you know classic SharePoint, as we call it. Uh, we used to have uh, some some usage reports that you could access by going to site settings. And you had to be, uh, you could only run those reports at the, uh, if you are at the root of the site collection, which is where I am. And uh, under audit log reports, you would, uh, you would first need to set them up and then you would have a handful of, you know, different reports that you have, activity reports and stuff. But, you know, some of them did not really work properly in SharePoint Online and those that worked were not really user friendly. Uh, at all, and uh, they only really provided you with a snapshot for, for this particular site collection. And uh, once again, they were not really uh, user friendly at all, in my opinion. But I do, do document uh, the, the steps on how to execute them uh, in case if you're still interested. Obviously, it would still apply if you run your SharePoint environments uh, on premises. Now, uh, Microsoft has recently implemented, obviously, a number of changes in SharePoint Online, and now we have um, several different ways uh, to to run modern SharePoint um, usage reports, if you will, and that's what I would like to show you today. All right, there are actually a kind of three different ways to access the information. Let me show you uh, option number one. So here I have my uh, sales department site um, uh, in front of you. Uh, um, it just a regular. It could be a subsite. It could be a, a separate site collection. A modern site, you know, doesn't really matter. And then. Um, and then you would go, if you want to access the site usage, usage report, uh, you would need to go to gear icon and click site usage. There is right a direct link right in front of your eyes. And when you click on it, uh, perfect. And we, you will see something like this. Um, and you will see some statistics and some information uh, about the usage of your site. Uh, these are built-in reports. You cannot really run them or, you know, tweak them, but they do provide you with some information, uh, you know, how many views uh, your site had uh, in the last, you know, so many days, how many site visits you had. Uh, you can also, um, a little bit below the charts here, um, you have, you know, the most viewed uh, content, the most viewed, um, you know, files that you had, um, uh, you, that you have on your site. And I also love this section over here. If you enabled external sharing on your site collection, then you will find this section useful. Why? Because it shows you the content that has been shared with external users. All right. And that's very important, right? If I'm a site owner, I, I really would like to know uh, what has been shared externally. And it, it shows you the documents, you know, files, folders, the location uh, within a library. Uh, so you, you might find this uh, report uh, pretty useful. All right. Uh, so that's option number one. That's option no number one. Nice and easy. You can access those statistics. You know, the, the, this uh, this report on uh, on any um, you know on any uh, you know modern site. All right. Let me show you another uh, option that you have at your disposal. Uh, it might not really provide you with lots of information you might be looking for, for but I still want to show you because, in my opinion. Uh, in my opinion, it's uh, it's pretty cool. So, uh, in order for, to access the second option, you would need to be a SharePoint admin, not not a, a site owner anymore. You you have to have admin privileges, privileges, SharePoint admin privileges, uh, to be exact. So, where I'm navigating right now is I'm going to a SharePoint admin center. All right, and and by the way, so by default, you probably you probably will end up, uh, uh, you know, depending on when you're viewing this video, you might end up in a classic, uh, in a classic, um, you know, uh, admin center, SharePoint admin center. In that case, you might, you will still see the button to, it says try it now, you will need to go to a modern admin center, which is where I am. 
Um, but this is only, you know, temporary stuff that you will need to do. Obviously, classic admin center will go away eventually. Um, and once in the modern uh, SharePoint admin center, if you click on active sites, of course, it will show you the um, all the different sites that you have in your environment. And um, this is where you can obviously, as an admin, create new sites, right, um, and delete the sites uh, and site collections to be precise. But what I like uh, as well is you have this last activity column, all right, uh, right here in the list. And it's essentially it shows you the last time something somebody did something on the site. And um, it's a great way, right? It, you know, it's a great way if I want to see the kind of the freshness of the site. Maybe it was, you know, it was last, um, you know, last activity was two years ago. So maybe it's time to talk to the site owner and possibly delete it. All right. Um, so um, that's kind of one of the ways, you know, to access the information. If you want a little bit more detailed information, you can hit the checkbox um, next to the site you're interested in and hit this uh, in information panel on the right and you see a little bit more, you know, a little bit, um, um, you know, a bit of additional information, uh, how many page views, how many files, you know, once again, last activity, um, you know, for, for the site. So it might be very, very useful information, uh, again, to, to you as a SharePoint admin. All right. And by the way, you also, what you can do, you can also uh, surface that information uh, up uh, in a view. All right, so uh, you can actually, you know, for example, if I want a full view and display, you know, kind of all the columns, I will have all the uh, c uh, columns uh, kind of appearing over here. Um, you know, uh, pretty much all the information that you can possibly have on the screen, it will appear over here. It will show you the, you know, the number of files, views, page views, you know, the last activity, pretty much everything on the on the screen. And you can actually customize all of this, uh, customize the columns. Uh, and uh, and move them around and stuff like that, right? So that's uh, the second option. Um, gives you gives you, in my opinion, kind of an overall, maybe not as detailed as the first one, right? The the first one showed you, um, you know, some additional information, right, uh, on your particular site. This is more of a high level information, but I still wanted to show you this uh, just because we have it. There is another option, option number three, uh, and uh, for for that option, you will need to navigate to uh, an, an admin center again, admin centers again, and we will actually need to navigate to uh, security and compliance admin center, all right? So on the security and compliance admin center, uh, the option I want to, uh, to show is, uh, you know, is called audit log search. And what it is, it's not so much a site usage, I guess, um, report or anything like that. It, it's a tool uh, that you would use uh, to kind of check on what people are doing, what, you know, your users are up to or, or on a given site uh, or in SharePoint in general. Uh, and it's pretty pretty straightforward, um, you know, uh, it's pretty straightforward to execute. So uh, essentially you can, you can um, track any sort of activity. You don't need to, you know, choose any of the activities in here. You can leave this kind of blank. Uh, but let's say, for example, and by the way, the activities you see in this list are not necessarily related to SharePoint. Most of them are, uh, but the activities you can also tra uh, track here um, can also be, you know, also um, related to other uh, apps within the uh, within um, within Office 365, eDiscovery, you know, Exchange, etc. All right, uh, here are activities you can track of a user in Exchange, for example, in, in Outlook or in, in the mailboxes. But for the purpose of this demo, I will focus on the SharePoint activities. So let's just say uh, I want to see, you know, all the files that have been downloaded, all right? And I can specify a particular range. You can specify, you know, the range of the report. Um, let's run it uh, from April 1st to May 4th. Uh, you can also specify the particular users and also be very specific about the particular site. Let's just see. I'm going to run it for myself and want to see when Greg downloaded any files uh, from within SharePoint environments, uh, from, from a SharePoint environment, from across, um, you know, all the sites. And then you just run the report. And here, we did, here it is. Pretty detailed. Pretty detailed. Every time I did something, it shows me when I did it. Right when I downloaded the file, uh, here's the activity. Right because I I was interested when I I downloaded the file, which file it was, 
you know, and, uh, you know, uh, and um, yeah, you have all this information right in front of your eyes. Or maybe you, you want to see when uh, someone, you know, deleted a file from the recycle bin or, or maybe restore the file or even rename the file. Uh, all sorts of built-in reports. I suggest you just, uh, you know, check it out uh, and, and you can definitely use it to your advantage uh, as necessary. And you can also, once again, if you're interested in a particular site, uh, or you can you can specify the URL in this box, or you know most likely maybe you're tracking you know a particular user and see what they're up to. So you can definitely run all sorts all sorts of reports as necessary. And a couple of other cool things about this um, about this audit log search, you can export the results. So if you run a report and maybe you want to uh, to to export it to Excel, so you you can present it to 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 uh, your executives. You can do that. Uh, another cool thing here you can do is you can set up an alert, all right? If, let's say, I want to be notified uh, any time Greg deletes a document uh, uh, in, in SharePoint, all right? Um, what you can do is you can set up um, an alert policy here. You just give it a name, provide optional description, and um, um, this is the screen where you specify the trigger, send alert when, so you would say, you know, when uh, a particular user, right, you can specify a user, let's say, you know, uh, the user, let's say we want to see if, you know, anytime um, the user deletes a file, right, and downloads a file. And then um, the last option here is this is, you know, who the alert uh, notification will be sent to. So if you want to, once again, specify the, um, the recipient, right, um, probably maybe a manager, maybe a SharePoint admin, but essentially any time now, it will go ahead and track this user's activities, so you don't need to run the reports all the time. And anytime something fits this particular trigger, the you know the recipient will get an email. So pretty, pretty convenient, uh, convenient way to kind of track your sites, and especially in this case, user activities. All right, so uh, these are the three options I wanted to present uh, to you today. Hopefully you learned something new and uh, definitely feel free to check out that um, that um, blog that I mentioned that should be, the URL should be uh, in the description uh, of the video. So feel free to check it out for all this and other techniques. And uh, again, I appreciate your attention uh, um, watching this video and uh, hope to see you again in, on my YouTube channel as well as my blog, sharepointmaven.com. Thank you very much and have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.